Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. And welcome to our review of this, which is the 13th Doctor Crystal Tardis. And if you want to be in with a chance to win one of these beautiful pieces of memorabilia, stay tuned, we've got a competition, details of which will appear at the end of this video. But for now, let's get into the review. The box features the standard packaging layout where it looks like the police box with the Doctor Who logo at the top and below it you can see the 13th Doctor standing in front of the opening TARDIS doors with white light emanating from behind them. The sides offer images of the police box windows and panels while the back gives us a write-up and you can pause the video if you want to read any of this. Sliding this cover off reveals a black box underneath with the new Doctor Who logo embossed in gold with the company name and motto beneath. This front cover is hinged and when swung open reveals the crystal and its base nestled securely in this soft blue silk. So that does it for the packaging, let's open it up and take a look at the crystal itself. Okay, so here we have the 13th Doctor, and much like the other Doctor Who crystals that I've reviewed, this once again looks absolutely stunning. This is one large solid block of perfect crystal, and it looks so pure and beautiful. As you can see, the crystal has been cut to resemble the police box, with the light on the top, the sloped roof and sides, while the main body features details of the police public call box logo etched into the top. As well as this, we get the windows, which have been changed up from previous releases, and no longer feature shading on the bottom outside panels. Like Likewise, there is no St. John's Ambulance badge this time around, and the pulled open signage and door has been slightly altered to resemble the look of the 13th Doctor's TARDIS, with the handle to open it now on the opposite side. Aside from these, those wooden square panels make a return, while the bottom extends out, representing that thick police box base. This is all impressive in and of itself, but the real selling point here is the 3D laser engraved image of the 13th Doctor, which rests at the very core of the Crystal TARDIS. This is so very unique, and something which a lot of collectibles out there have failed to capture, as it gives us this stylish yet almost haunting vision of the 13th Doctor to display. The detail is incredible, and easily some of Crystal Carving's best work yet, with the hair sculpt actually featuring strands of hair blowing away from her face. There is very subtle detailing of her eyes, nose and mouth, which which is particularly clear when seen from a side-on view. Moving down to the body, you can see she is wearing her standard outfit with that long coat which features a hood hanging down from the back, and what is so cool about this laser engraving technology is that you can see through the coat as well as the body, so her legs can be seen underneath the coat and her hood is visible through her chest, giving this a serious ghostly vibe. The attention to detail really has to be admired here, as on her t-shirt you can even spot those stripes across it, as well as her braces. Hands can be seen on both arms featuring individual detailing of fingers, the trousers are basic but replicated sharply while you can see some creasing and wrinkling on the coat as well as the boots which feature laces along the front. So overall for detail, this is simply breathtaking. The crystal also comes with a rectangular blue base which features the new Doctor Who logo across the front and a translucent panel on the top with 9 LED squares inside. The back gives us an adapter port as well as an on-off button, while the underside features the battery compartment as well as some screws and legal Werber Hertzen. The base takes 4 AAA batteries and when switched on illuminate a bright blue. When the crystal is set on top of this, it just completes the look of this beautiful collectible. The bright blue light shining up from the base accents every last painstaking detail which has been and put not only into the TARDIS, but the 3D laser engraved figure of the 13th Doctor, highlighting the detail on the face specifically, but also gives us a great variation of tone throughout her outfit. This light effect easily separates the 13th Doctor from the rest of the crystal, and really makes her stand out perfectly. Doing a quick size comparison, you can see that all of the crystal TARDISes are created from the same design, so fit in well with each other to create a truly stunning collection. So overall, what do I think of this Crystal TARDIS? Again, I think this is very similar to all of the other Crystal TARDISes I've reviewed. I absolutely love this thing. Yeah. I think it's so beautiful. I love the 3D laser engraving effect. I love how it, it's, like I mentioned it in the review just now, it's, it's kind of ghostly. Yeah. It's kind of haunting in a way. And it's, again, like I've said with the other Crystal TARDISes, it kind of feels like this is a doctor that's been sort of trapped forever in a singular moment of time. Yeah, yeah. The thing I like about it too is like the detail. Like I love the fact with this is you can see the boots, even the detail on the shoelaces, like yeah, everything, yeah. the braces. The uh, another thing I like as well is the the coat. Like the coat's very transparent too, so you can. You it can, is, yeah. So like it's it's not like it is with a regular figure with the, if there's a coat over it, yeah. it's covering the detail that's underneath. Whereas with this, you can see through the coat, you can see the boots, you can see the trousers. Yeah, I really, really do like that. And another thing I really love with it too is, like, you get that, 
but just a nice little more detail outside of it you have the box the TARDIS you have the police public call box and I really think that's really really cool and something I, I think for even like veteran collectors yeah well I was actually having this conversation not so long ago with uh, another friend of ours who is a big sort of toy collector mm -hmm. and he was saying do you think in like say by 40 50 years time when we're old people do you think we'll have like toys and and collectibles on display the way that if you were to go to visit your granny and she has like all those little ornaments and china dolls yeah. and stuff up in her living room will we have like the equivalent of that yeah. and I was sitting thinking, I don't think really, because I don't think we would have like um, like plastic action figures or something like in a in a big display not in cabinet. A, no, not in a But cabinet. with this, it's kind of like the best of both worlds because it looks like a little kind of collectible, like a little thing you would have on your mantelpiece, mm -hmm. but it also kind of doubles as a nerdy little Doctor Who thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's something that I think you know for us anyway, the wives would would let us yeah. like that, like we'd, we'd get away with that. Yeah, it wouldn't be a case of no, Anthony. You can't have your 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 TARDIS police box toy up on on display, but but what about this? Oh, isn't this, this nice? Yes. Oh, yes, this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the light effects as well in the base, I think it shines up through it, and it really separates the little character inside. Yes. From the the rest of the crystal. It's a good thing you mentioned the light. There is something. The, oh, oh. Like, not a bad thing. Do not tell. Do thing. tell. But, do tell. You know, for the next next version, I like the fact it lights up and it, it lights up the car, the, the TARDIS and, and the Doctor. But mm -hmm. the one thing that would have set this off for me is if it had a fade fi uh, f effect where it looks like it's dematerializing. Yeah, like it's fading in and out yeah, sort of a thing. Like I, yeah, yeah. I would like that. And another kind of little minor nitpick that I have with this. It's the same thing I've had with all the rest of these Crystal Tardises. And damn it, I've been talking about these for ages and they still haven't done it. The Tardis itself, the Crystal Tardis, isn't mm. connected to the base. So it can slide around and it can fall off. Uh... So I thought it would be nice, even if with the bases, they had like a little lip kind of running around the edges. So the Tardis actually clips down onto it. That so would like be really it can't good. slide yeah, off. Yeah, Whereas yeah. with this, it feels very kind of. It feels if you were cleaning the you know the cover the wee place and you happen to knock it, it's gone. Yeah, it feels kind of very rickety, almost yeah. sort of a thing. Like it's beautiful as it is, and I just I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. So I would no. love like even a little plastic lip around a the edge. A bit edges. more security with it. I yeah, know. you you get this product, you want to show it off, but you want to make sure that when you're showing it off, it doesn't go bang. Yeah, <laughs> smoosh. And you're like, oh, that was a lovely collectible I had once. <laughs> <laughs> But it's funny as well because this is technically now accurate to the show in a little kind of weird way because these Crystal Tardises have been out for a while now. Yeah. And I've reviewed a, a fair chunk of them and I've loved every single one. To my surprise, whenever Jodie Whittaker's Tardis was revealed, the actual interior was revealed, hmm. there's a Crystal Tardis, there's a Crystal Police box as part of her console. Is there? Yeah, I, like I noticed it in Ghost Monument. And again, that's a nice thing too because I would regard that as a Ghost Monument. Ah, I, thought that, I thought that was quite clever too. That's good, that's but good. But when you see her TARDIS close up, there is an actual... Um, it looks like a crystal police box. Hmm. And it rotates. Like it spins around. That's really cool. Like I'm looking forward to seeing more. No, that no, future thing. Like what else are they going to add to it? You know, yeah. like, Well, not even just that. Like what are they going to do outside of Doctor Who as well? Yes. It would be really nice to see like imagine, what fandoms that they're going to go down next. Marvel or yeah. DC and stuff like that. Star Wars. Please. Yeah. I would buy it all. <laughs> and so that does it for our review of the 13th Doctor Crystal Tardis. What a beautiful thing it was too. And if you want to own one of these wonderful pieces of memorabilia, and I mean from the first Doctor all the way up to the 13th Doctor, well, you're in luck. All you have to do is like this video, share it around, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment down in the comment section telling us which Doctor's your favourite and why you'd want to own them encased forever in beautiful crystal. The competition closes on on New Year's Day after the New Year's Day episode of Doctor Who goes out and the winners will be announced on our social media pages which you can find links to in the description below and also if you fancy going out and buying one of these either for yourself or as a gift for a friend I've got a special discount promo code just for you guys in the description as well that'll knock the price down a little bit give you a little bit of a New Year bargain start the January sales early thanks so much for watching everyone until next time farewell bye bye with the discount code. Yes, it's there. Description. It's in the description. There, there. Click go, it. Go, go, go. Go off now. Good luck. Go.
Christmas. Bye. <laughs>